It seems like you're so far. So far away. Hey guys, welcome back to Brooke and Doesn't Connor Make a anybody? Podcast. Oh, hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Brooke and Brackham. Welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. This is Connor. That's Brooke over there. We're Brooke. making a podcast today. Um, it's it's weird because it's I don't know I don't know what to say. I can say something. Okay, it's absolutely like torrential downpouring like it was last week as well like it was was last week and we can't see that in our office because there's no windows but you just know you know like i know that it's raining outside even though i can't see it and for that reason i'm needing to be under my covers you know what i think i should do huh be one of those people that goes live on tiktok sleeping i could make a living resting Yes. Oh my God. I would love to make a living closing my eye, having my eyes closed. You could actually leave a legacy for your children too. Cause once you pass, you could just have your phone on and yeah. plugged in. Yeah. Inside your... I could set up my, um, tripod right next to my bed quarters and just kind of go to sleep for eight to 15 hours. You should do that. I, I think I will. Wait. I don't oh, see why I wouldn't. I have. Oh, come in. Question mark? Question mark? Oh! oh hey, boys! Hey. Oh, it's Uh-oh. Barbara Hernandez. Your mail keeps coming to the boat. What is it? I don't know. It's addressed to you. Oh, well, why don't you guys come in and take a seat? Something in that sort of... Come come, sit down. Folder. We've got a new couch from the Kelly Clarkson collection at Wayfair. Yourself, make yourself comfortable. That looks ominous. Yeah, sorry about Joel that. Stewart. I took a gander at it. It ain't good, dude. Really? <laughs> it ain't good. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not good. Is that? It's from the IRS. Mm. Oh, never good. Did they say you won? (laughs) They're congratulating me on my bank account. (laughs) Wow. Is that the amount in your bank account or the amount that they want from you? That is an overdue tax um, bill. What's the opposite of an award? Uh, Punishment. Punishment. Mm. Punishment for an overdue tax situation. Hey, Brooke. Hi, Connor. Are you ready to M-A-P? I'm ready to pee. Ignorance is bliss. I'm living in a world of my own, and it's awesome. Oh, I thought I was responsible for 9-11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania. Touch grass, might I suggest. We're just going to dive right in today. That's okay. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I guess we're it here. It seems like you're uh, across the bridge already at I'm, this I'm, point. I'm approaching the bridge. And no, so I, I guess think I'll, you're I haven't. It. You fell off the bridge yeah. and you're in the water I'll now. cross that bridge when I get there. Now I'm here. I guess I'll... Here's another saying I hate. I guess add it to the list. Cross that bridge when I get there. Yeah, no shit. That one makes sense. What's the issue? The bridge? Or th- yes. what, I'm, what I'm passing over? The water. The water. The water's the issue. Right? The bi- bridge is so you can go over it? It might be a. It might be just a, a dry. Well, creek then what's bed. the issue? Why, why bring the bridge into it? We'll cross that bridge when I get there. <laughs> that one makes the sense. The bridge poorly built. Maybe the bridge is the issue. bad infrastructure. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like a hurdle. Crossing a bridge is a hurdle. No, it's just uh, it, depending on like if there's any. Think about incl- driving over a bridge. You like that? I don't even notice. I feel like it's just a road, the same road. I'm looking at my phone the whole time, anyways. <laughs> man, this fucking sucks. Just thinking of man. There's so many phrases I got to dig through now. Ben, oh, yeah. check this one out. I just what? told Connor it this morning. Flying by the seat of your pants. How about the skin of your teeth? You're you're you made it by the skin of your teeth. That I I'm thinking. That. Ain't no Squidward, skin on your teeth. Squidward biting the Krabby Patty. Do you know that? Are you familiar with that image? No, yeah, well, I mean, sure. Like he's like. Yeah, but what's like, going on? He's fight. He's by the skin of his teeth. Uh, he's barely biting it. Have you not yeah. seen this? I don't know. Can we? Do you know exactly in? what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Can we? Ta- yeah. Squidward. Yeah. Oh that's, yeah. Sure. That's, oh, that is a personification of okay. that saying to me. Yeah. He's I just don't... taking a little baby bite. Yeah. And just like I little... know when I look at that, I understand the saying. It's For like, the... oh, you're barely making it. Yeah. Okay. You know. Okay. Hope that helped. Oh, that does help a little. Yeah. Bit. Totally. Thank you for that illustration. No this problem. This is this is um, for audio only. I guess it would have been tough to figure out what has just. I would oh, hope right, that they can see it in their heads. I'm glad you consider the audio listener. I, I ha- thought I was have the only to. one. Yeah, I do it every time. We're always talking about the five senses here. The five senses. 
Yes. Mm. What's your favorite sense? I know. Touch. I was just going to say. Touch? Yeah, this guy's oh, all that about was, touch. Mm -hmm. that was our I do like touching. That, oh! <laughs> that ranked last for both of us. Mm -hmm. Really? Touch mm -hmm. ranked last? Well, no, smell. If we're going by most last necessary, it's probably not touch. What sight. is it? Sight? Yeah. yeah. Sight. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's tough. I mean, you really... Wow, you, not, not a big sight guy. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's like choosing which uh, uh, child you love the most if you have children. Well, would you rather be blind or deaf? No, I said just pick a favorite. I mean, if I'm going to have to be blind or deaf, I might as well go full Helen Keller mode. I don't think that that you have to. Wait, what? He just wants, why, to, be, he wants to be an author. Because I don't want to I don't want to be lusting after one or the other. I just want to be like, you know what? Just just take it all. That's a I'm modern. I'm not following that. That's a logic, modern. But I appreciate I don't know, it. Just came out. <laughs> I, I would rather be I would rather be deaf. OK, for yeah. audio only listeners, we have been in a meal from the, <laughs> oh, on the podcast oh. today. From our sister pod, Trillionaire Mindset. Yes. Um, it's been an actually like almost an exact year since the last time we had you guys on. Oh, wow. Yeah. The on, last the, time on the green we screen. We didn't have a boat and you guys hadn't been to Harvard. Right. Yeah. Wow. Time. At, we were just saying, like, you don't know like what's going to happen. You, you don't, don't. You never. No one knows what's going to happen. Right. That's but freaky. It's funny how fast the night changes. Mm -hmm. How fast. You guys do have a lot of sayings. Jeez. Yeah. Well, how, that's a One Direction song. Oh. Okay. You're familiar, of course. Sure, sure. Yeah. What is yeah. it? How fast the night changes? Um, ooh, I was just about, I yeah, forgot I it. Even, even when the night changes. Oh, I thought it was just how fast the night Just how, just, uh, it's both. Does it ever uh, drive uh, you crazy? crazy? Just how fast the night changes. Changes. changes but it'll never change yeah i'm definitely gonna you. go with losing my hearing instead of oh uh, i'm that's, joking i'm joking no that was nice no, I'm and kidding. sweet yeah it's fine you know what would be sweet is a bite of those m&ms with your face on it I I asked, asked, I well asked, you can't have them i know i asked oh. last time i was here i was mm -hmm. like are those m&ms don't be rude to our no, guests no, no no i don't want any i don't want they any. make you shit your pants i will tell you that wait what? are you serious i, no, Every, you I think what? you were already predisposed is there oh. just a special ink on them that makes you your tummy upset you know what it could have been any <laughs> other number of things it was a predisposition for me yeah do you have a sensitive stomach too uh not until recently and i think i was i was i struck a chord a man like I, I manifested it I for myself because I, I used to yeah it probably osmosis it from ailment mcgee over here but i literally used to make fun of adults with i'm like what are you 11 years old you have a stomach ache yeah and then just like clockwork i started getting tummy aches <laughs> like buddy i know this guy's the king i'm the king i figured it all out I'm not going to look into it, though. It's just like if I have a stomach ache, that's just like something that is my own cross to bear, and then I'll deal with it. Yeah. Wait, Between Ben, what did you God. figure out? I figured out that, okay, first it was that the, the Oikos Triple Zero yogurt has something Don't called- Don't blame Greek yogurt. Shut up. Don't blame it Greek It has something yogurt. called chicory root okay. in it, which is a fiber, uh, like uh, they, they, they put it in to, to give it more fiber. Right makes me shit like almost immediately that, isn't that what fiber is supposed to do yes yeah. but not this aggressive not to this degree so there's that no sugar no fried stuff um what's the other big one okay see you later you dude. even just said chicory root and it's like what do you do his stomach started going what do you what do you get oh he's getting, getting water. yogurt um oh. there's that and then uh not overeating do you follow mm. all of those? Yeah, it's it's pretty really? easy. Now <laughs> no I'm just sugar? like, yeah, I don't overeat. I don't. I, I Sorry, avoid I sugar. Thirsty. No, it's okay. And yeah, my my tummy's totally fine and normal now. Really? Yeah. So no chicory root. Yeah, just look for it in the ingredients. So list. everyone remember to cut out the chicory. See, root. like, yeah. ever, like, do you you understand the difference between my justification for my stomach aches, manifestation, the universe at work? His is chicory root. Right. Maybe well, I'll look into yeah, it. This guy systematically like. Gets rid of things. He was like, I had to. He was like, protein shakes are making me sick. So every day he's drinking the protein shake and removing one ingredient and getting sick. But for I also, like I had a lot weeks. of ingredients. Wow. And then he's like, I finally found it. Where, I, I still don't know actually where that one came from. I just made the I, shake. So a lot of people like would have just stopped drinking the shake. Yeah, well, I'm not like everybody. I'm right. not going to go down like that though. Did you have chicory root in the shake as well? No, I had <laughs> collagen powder, protein powder, chia seeds, peanut butter, banana, berries, uh, some other shit. And I would also take pills when I was drinking the shake. And I'm like, like supplements. Yeah. And something, one of those things was hurting my stomach. 
and I could <laughs> not fucking figure it out. I'd just take one thing out. Or maybe it was a mixture. I think it was just the mixture. Yeah, it was a. It was like an epoxy. The, some some combination of something was disagreeing with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've just accepted it mm-hmm. and stomach aches. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really get them. Because the doctor was like, "Okay, try cutting out gluten, dairy, and sugar," and I was just like, "I'll just poop my pants." <laughs> That feels fine. <laughs> Instead, because yes. you, you can't do without gluten, dairy, or sugar. I no, I yeah. really like wouldn't eat. I hear you. Yeah. I'm addicted to sugar. It's my. Uh, I I feel so embarrassed because I'm just a grown man sitting at home, just going, "You can't have treats." I think I'm addicted to bread. Mm. Also good. Yeah. I love good sourdough toasted. Yeah. <sighs> With tuna salad on it. Oh my god, Ben! You're a tuna salad guy. Yes. Have I told you about my idea? No. Okay. Picture this. Okay. An ice cream truck. Mm-hmm. But instead of ice cream, it's deli scoops in a cone. Mm-hmm. Tuna salad, egg a salad, wheat, wheat chicken cone. salad, a wheat thin cone. Yeah. That sounds like a stomach I always egg. jump in to, cr- to, g- to correct Thank you. the cone Thank thing. you. So maybe I'll be the cone guy. Yeah, you could be the cone guy. You I could do the chicken dips. Cone? A, a, wheat wheat thin. Th- a wheat thin cone. Well, like, different cones. Oh. There's a wheat thin one. There's a Ritz cracker Trisket. one. There's a pita chip one. Chip, That's man. not a bad idea. No, it's a good idea. I just idea. don't it like exists. the idea of like eating it out of a Not the ice cream truck. Well, you can get it in a cup. Just like you could in an ice cream truck. Yeah. With a cone on top. Or popsicle formation. What There's would you call it? The t- gross about the tub of tuna? And what would you salad. call it? The tuna truck? I haven't thought that far into the name. Yeah. So the person that worked the tuna, the, the truck of cone stuff, they would have to have lost their smell. <laughs> yeah. Because no, inside I, that I truck, it. I bet it smells I, crazy yeah, the in egg there. salad tuna. Mm. I like really like the smell of, of a deli. Me too. Yeah, but some people. You ever and you have like do you a, think it's a, a Jewish tuna thing? Fish sandwich in a in For a sure. in a car. People don't like that. Well, it doesn't bother me if I know it's tuna. No, I've never pulled out a tuna fish sandwich in a car with other people. What? Maybe in an office setting. We were going to Malibu, <laughs> and I packed a tuna fish sandwich. I pulled it out. People didn't like it. <laughs> well, that's the other people's problem. <laughs> you gotta be. I you agree. gotta be considerate of the smells. I guess. Just don't reheat fish in an office or something. Anyway. Totally. You got to do what you got to do. If you have leftover fish and you got to eat in the office, right. sorry, everybody else. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. I'm on a um, budget. I have a business idea as well. What? And I'm glad we got here. This is legit. Okay. Let me make sure I'm covering all my bases before I say it out loud. Do you not want it to get stolen? No, it just exists. Say it exists. It say, exists. But oh. this, is, this is one for just me. You guys ever on lunch breaks, like at, at the office, and you're like, I want to talk to someone, but I don't want to hang out with any of my coworkers, and I, I want to call someone, but like all my friends are at work as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't work in like an office setting, so you didn't have like a lunch where like you're like out and doing right. stuff and like listening to a podcast. I or just can't imagine a world in which I'd want to talk to someone On your in the middle of the day. Mm. Mm. Is it like a Tinder, but for guys who just want to chat for like fifteen lunch minutes? break friend? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, I got it's an app. I don't know. It could just be a hotline. I, oh, I have nice. the solution for you. Cigarettes. Because you go out and you but smoke you a cigarette. Smoke while you eat. Yeah, no, but someone's out there. You, you're going you're gonna to meet some interesting people who are also smoking. Do people still do that? No. Like smoke? go outside to smoke a cigarette? Yeah. But you can't do it inside. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. just thinking because of vapes. Oh, yeah. Well, vapes are. You can't vape inside either. Vapes are for high people schoolers. People do, though. I know a lot of adults that vape. But yeah, now no true. one smokes any. It's all people like Ben or weird Europeans. I don't smoke. Out there with just I don't smoke anymore. Man, you got a Did truck you? bed full of cigarettes. Real I, I had a brief uh, affair with cigarettes. For wow. That's the sexiest sentence ever. You could write a book on that. That could be the first line of a book. I had a In the summer affair. of... You can't say 2008. That's such a lame year. <laughs> In the summer of uh, 19... Nah, I can't think of a cool year. 2022. You couldn't write a novel, a novella oh, yeah. about a two, two, 2022. What about 1864? Because uh, I'm the thinking fuck? about I'm thinking about Ben's brief affair with cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 1988. 1988. I was a year old. I guess you don't have to mention the year. Oh, great! Now everybody knows I'm an old fucking geezer. I'm trying to figure out how old you are. It's gonna 35. take 45 minutes. 35. Really? Yeah. Go ahead and make fun of me in the comments. Pieces <laughs> of shit. You'll get there too. Or maybe you won't. Maybe you'll die. <laughs> yeah, then we're always be laughing. Yeah. Me, we never know all the way happen. to age forty when I die. I don't want to say that. Mm-hmm. That's uh, don't ma- not. Oh, you shouldn't say that in this space. space. You know what? I'm not going to knock on any wood. Let's see. I'll challenge the wood gods. You I want to take me out. See if you can. I don't think you should challenge anyone in this space. Some weird stuff happens when we talk about it in this space. Is really? This I'm not kidding. We've like just manifested a lot of M&M? stuff. 
Ooh, what did you want to talk about? Millions I of dollars. I can't remember. Uh uh-uh, uh, we should keep a list of things we've manifested. What did we manifest? Stomach aches. Well, yeah, of course. That one's a tough one. That's a tough nut what, to swallow. What have we manifested? Man, it would suck if Marissa Tomei came and like rubbed her boobies in my face. I would hate that. I wouldn't want that to happen. So I, it doesn't. My dad happen. was friends with her. You have to. The thing is about Marissa Tomei and her breasts is, you have to be. <laughs> you have to be. You remember when you get three wishes from a genie and. They try to trick you, right, yeah. and they say you have to be very. You, I, the thing is, the things that we talk about don't happen. How you in, want. In fa- in in yeah. a very literal way, they do happen in a very literal way. No, they don't happen the way we say them. She's gonna be like doing roof work, and it's gonna collapse, and she's gonna her shirt's gonna get caught. She's gonna die, and then land on me dead. Or you're gonna get in a car accident and like fly through the windshield because you didn't have your seatbelt on. Yeah. And then you're gonna hit her, and she's like a, a silk human rope. missile. Hey, that's one hell yeah. of an airbag, if you know what I'm saying. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, that's pretty good. Man. Totally. How is the uh, Kelly Clarkson collection from Wayfair couch treating like you guys? I'm, man, I'm makes me feel like an American Idol. Let me I, tell you, that was good. really nice. Yeah, that was an. That was for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure that there are people in the audience who don't. That's where she got her start. Yep. I remember watching that finale. Justin Guarini was the one who lost. Yeah. Did you watch the, curly hair. the next season with Clay Aiken? No. Uh, yes. That was my first real crush. Was that Ruben Stuttered? Ruben Stuttered. Yeah. Clay lost to Ruben. Yeah. And, and where is he now? He's on Clay like, is a politician. He is? Mm-hmm. Where? Um, maybe North Carolina. Doing what? Politis- Being political. Yeah, look, 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 look <laughs> Being political. Him. Yeah. That's my king. The, for, for the audio listener, we're looking at his Wikipedia mm-hmm. page. What is he? He uh, He's in... Uh, a mayor? Policies. And, and he's... A, a congressman? He's a congressman. Wow. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Uh, did he win? He won the Democratic primary. Huh. Very cool. His main opponent did die Whoa. before the votes could be certified. Whoa. Oh, no, he lost. He and lost. then he lost. But he he tried. Oh, yeah. my God. This king just keeps losing. Oh, they got to milk it, too. They got to do a whole miniseries, The Runner-Up. Oy vey. Anyway, uh, he was like the it. first like real love of my life, Clay, and I owe him a lot. You and know, he was... Just like Brooks' other crushes, a gay man. Mm-hmm. Is that? Do you normally fall for gay men? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's some um, that's something to unpack there. Going for uh, the unavailable, fruit. unavailable. Yeah, men, well, huh? that's why and in then general this is where we could slip in the BetterHelp ad. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. You know something about me? You know, I most, know a couple you things know about most you. Things I would about say. Me. Um, but one of them is that I've been learning a lot about myself recently. Um, for example, I've I've used this example before, but I'm constantly learning that Sweet Life of Zack and Cody is not only my favorite Disney show, but one of my favorite shows of all time. Sure. So that's something I continue to learn and feel strongly about as I dive further into the rewatch of the show. Life is constantly changing, and through that process, we learn more about ourselves and continue to grow as individuals. A tool that's really helped me through the growing process is therapy. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. I like the way you said that. Sometimes we don't know how to react until we talk through it. Yeah. Is that what you said? Sometimes we don't know why we're reacting the way we react until, like, you know how I, like, kind of, like, am, like, kind of go off the rails at something mm-hmm. that seems like pretty small mm-hmm. well it turns out like whatever that thing is like could be a trigger for me and I don't know why until I talk to a therapist and then you get it. the unbiased perspective exactly. that someone like a therapist could provide you exactly that is a good way to think of it yeah because therapy like I always say is like a backpack and within that backpack there's tools if you're thinking of starting therapy give better help a try it's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Mm. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BNC today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash B-A-N-D-C. Facts. Well, that's why I like celebrities in general, regardless of if they're gay or not, because you can't have them and it's yeah. safe. Oh, I know. Like I know. Forbidden I love. Yeah. I don't like anybody that could possibly like be a possibility. People yeah. are definitely hotter when they have a partner. 
Yes, mm-hmm. agree. Because there's someone I could be like not interested in and then all of a sudden they have a girlfriend and it's like, oh, wait. You're like, holy shit. Yeah. Other people want you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know a thing or two about gay stuff because I have a lesbian haircut right now. Oh my God. Oh, that was a, ben, a me good too. transition yeah. into the haircut. Yeah. See, I disagree about yours. Yours looks great. Well, lesbian I mean, haircuts mine, can mine look great. Mine looks fine, but I just, I'm relegated to every time I get a short haircut, I think I look like Hillary Swank and Boys Don't Cry. <laughs> and that great flick, yes. that was very successful. For her, uh huh. We always talk about. I have like a. I have. I have women who've like messaged me and been like, "I am one hundred percent a lesbian. Hate men." Mm-hmm. You're the one that can slide through the cracks for some reason. I get the same thing. Hey, what is with you guys? It's it's making it's sense. weird because it's not a pheromone thing because you can't s- smell pheromone. Can you smell pheromones? Yeah, but not through the phone. Not, sure, not through the. It's phone. It's a digital then. pheromone thing. You both give. It's giving. Uh, questioning lesbian. Wow, very not thirty-five of you to throw in. Oh, it's yeah, giving. Thank you, dude. Nice. Hello, fellow young people. My peers. Hello, yeah. peers. Um, yeah. So that's awesome. I, I think it's because they don't feel threatened by. I you was both. just yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's a certain. Well, you're very gentle. Yeah, you're in in a in a great way. Yeah. It, it, they're like, oh, these aren't your normal men who are just like, oh, you fucking right. Oh, yeah. yeah but should, there's also something feminine. I get women who go like. They'll be like, you're my style icon. And I'm like, I'm a boy. <laughs> okay? I wear boys clothes. I do boys things. Yeah, that's true. Little defensive, I'm a Emil. <laughs> I'm a fucking boy. Yeah. No, it's fine. I don't care. Do you I'll identify as a boy rather than a man? No, I was joking. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. He identifies as a tennis player. Because I would say <laughs> this I... This motherfucker was reading a tennis book before we recorded. He's got to get a page in. <laughs> I actually read probably five pages. Jesus Christ, you fucking nerd. I listened to The Daily this morning, which is something that you guys should have been doing. Why? Why? Not reading about tennis. That's like your forte. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we we create our own daily. Mm-hmm. That's what our show is. <coughs> I, I'm, and, I, and us as well. I'm trying to do this thing where I listen to the daily, that their 27-minute podcast, and then I do it in three minutes as fast as I can. Oh, that's good. I cannot do the one about Israel today. <laughs> There's one about today? <laughs> because it why? kind of went over yeah, my head. Yeah, why? <laughs> it went a little bit over my head. Is it dense? It was just like watching Succession. Like, there's a lot of moving parts. I uh, started watching Succession. I think, I think BB said they're putting everything on hold, basically. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, the Daily is uh, the guy who goes, the, you're listening to the Daily. Michael Barbaro. Michael Barbaro. Speaking of guys okay, who are that. confused about being gay. Huh, he? Wasn't he a gay guy married to a guy and then he left that guy married to, and then got married to a woman or something? I have no Love idea. Love a good rebrand. I have no idea. Well, we'll never know. There's no way to know. Yeah. Now he's just the Daily guy. Yeah. Now he's just the Daily Okay, here's my first call. No, it was call. while he was at Daily. Here's my first call. Mom. We need, I tried really hard. You can customize your, like, Away, do not disturb. Oh. Okay. Hey, we're doing a podcast. Put her on speaker. <laughs> so hang on. You're on. You're on speaker on the podcast. Oh. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? Well, <laughs> I'm doing great. Just wondering when the little boy's coming in. So I identify as a boy Lance. as well. <laughs> the baby boy. Okay. Um, I land boy. at seven thirty. I'm leave going. Okay, uh, let me call you right after we wrap up here. <laughs> okay, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye, you guys. Bye. Hey, Brooke, I got a question yeah. here. It says on the thing that you witnessed a hit and run. Yeah, Ben, this is crazy. Okay. Yesterday, I had to leave a little bit early while Connor stayed here to brainstorm for today's episode. And so I joined the brainstorm via car, Bluetooth. And as wow, I was she's just... rich. Yeah, that's oh. a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Via Bluetooth. <laughs> and so while I was doing that and kind of brainstorming with the crew, hit and run right in front of me. The car right in front of me was <coughs> hit by somebody switching into their lane, uh-huh. just like into them. Hell yeah. And then just sped away as, as the should. car that was hit just like pulled aside into the parking lot. I think lot. that's kind of the norm in LA. Oh, what? yeah. Whoop. And then oh. I didn't know what to do because like I was next to the man that hit. Yeah, you're a witness. And I was like, do I pull over? No, Brooke. Because I was... You stay the course. Really? No. If if I've learned one thing, as long as everyone's both. I mean, no one was good. hurt. No one's, everyone's fine. Mind your business. But I feel like I should have been capturing the license plate of the hitter. That's none of your business. True. Is that not good oh, Samaritan? You know what? The, I just. Yeah. But, what? 
I, I you just sparked two two quick memories. One is exactly that story. Pop I'm switching you. lanes, and someone to the right is switching lanes. They definitely had right away. We hit each other on the 405, kind of bounce off of each other. I've always wondered why that doesn't happen more. And I look at I look at him, and he goes, and I go, <laughs> and we just continue yes. going. Great. I've I was done like, that. I don't. I mean, I don't know who's at fault. I don't really feel like yeah. exiting right now. <laughs> Is there any damage to your car? No. I got one for you. This is uh, not... I was eating a banana one time in the car. Oh. And uh, I does that not give you a stomach ache? No, but oh my great. god, Hell yeah. No. Oh, those those hurt. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I can't oh, think. Can you eat? I don't have any safe foods. Oh, Jesus, H. bananas is like baby well, food. Well, yeah, it's fruit something. snacks. <laughs> oh yeah, fruit snacks settle this stuff. I mean, fruit snacks are good. Cheez Its are good. Chips are good. Right. <laughs> you need some probiotics. Okay. Yeah. I, think. This is, I know. Maybe some prebiotics too. Jesus. Well, my mom has always said, don't take probiotics if your stomach is already bad because it will replicate the bacteria. And if you're just replicating the bad bacteria, that sucks. But I don't, she doesn't have any sort of. You should see a dietitian. Yeah. Or something. I know. Yeah. Ben, yeah. yeah. But so I was. If eating- I were to say that. I would have gotten socked in the face. No, because what you yeah. do is I say I'm depressed and you say, no, you're probably just low on iron. He, that's. But no, <laughs> I mean, yes and no. As someone who takes antidepressants, you got to supplement it with real world things too. Yeah, I, not that iron's not like real world. I never said stop taking like, your But I was like actively like in a depressive state, like in like not a normal one. Yeah, yeah. Like, I and get I was that. like, I just want to in a take cute, a nap. Bad mode. And then he was like, "You're just iron." No, deficient. that is such a stretch. That is your truth. Mm-hmm. There's his truth, there's her truth, That's and then there's the truth. Yeah, the objective we all, truth. It's the human experience. Yeah. Well, so That's my truth. I was eating a banana on the road. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> That's where Jesus. We are. And I, I'm, I'm at a red light, and I look over, and I see a guy in his car also eating a banana, and he's wearing sunglasses too, and I just gave him one of these. Like, hey, two guys both eating a banana. Like, Seinfeld, you black know, and white cookie. Cheers. Audio listeners, and he just looked cheers at me on the banana. And didn't do anything, and just turned Ooh. and looked, oh, and I was like, are oh. you fucking... What the fuck? Oh, oh, I'm yeah. I'm following yeah. him home. <laughs> I'm I was, following him home. That's worse. He's a bad person. Like, yeah, we're both so, eating a banana, yeah. man. Acknowledge me. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I always say like, I'm not a killer. Don't push me. Uh huh. I think that was Tupac. If yeah, and Little Wayne. <laughs> yeah. If I, there is going to come a day when I let someone merge. Because I'm a per, like I'm. It's human to human contact. If I let you merge and you don't give me a little, if I'm having a bad day and that tends to, I'm just going to get ahead of it, mm-hmm. I will ram full force into mm-hmm. your car. You should. Go for it. Yeah. Kill and it's, it is going to be my fault, but like I'll eat that cost because just to inconvenience the rest of your week because you didn't, you didn't wait. You might There's get gonna, lucky and they might not have insurance and just speed off anyway. See ya. What if it's a pedestrian and you let them walk and they don't wave? That's a, that's a funny um, kind of duality thing, like dichotomy where- if I'm crossing the street, I'm like, it is my human, it is my m- m- God human, given. God given mm-hmm. right, not human given right. Well, it's my God given right to cross the street at whatever speed I feel like right. it. Hit me. I dare you to hit me. Granted, I don't want like a Honda Civic to hit me. I want a G-Wagon to hit me. Yeah. But I'll walk, I'll walk as fast as I want. I'm not a dick. I walk a normal pace. I was just going to say, if you walk slow. Yeah, you're a prick. Yeah, you're a prick. I walk a normal pace, but I actually try to. Like I'm not on my phone, like not looking. I am like, thank you, and I I go my way. If you I'm in the car, I'm like, step. if you don't if you don't pick it up, I I'm gonna hit you. So there's like a funny, I don't know. You know what you should never do though, and I saw this uh, yesterday, and it drives me fucking insane. People are too liberal with flipping each other off. Mm. Way too. It's it's uh it's like go. Did anybody see go? Did nobody see Ghostbusters two? Literally, no. Every I, don't think, I don't think anybody on the five. Some guy. Was trying to get in, no blinker, just fucking drifting over. And you flipped him off. In two lanes, no. I fucking honked at him to be like, what are you doing, pal? And then he started throwing his thing out. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I rolled mine, uh, mine down and I was like, yeah, what? And then he got over into the other lane and he was waving me in and I was like, yes. And then I got up next to him what? and we both just screamed. There's a other. five? Like, kinda, it's like, it's like what? S- yeah, five freeway? State. Oh, I knew about are. the 10. You are all the way on the west side. Oh, the 405. No, no, no. The, no. Five. The, five. the five. Where's the five go? The, the five runs north and south. The e- the even ones go <laughs> I guess I never west, go north or and south. The odd ones go north and south. Why would I? Or Malibu. You didn't know that? I, no. that? I don't think I've ever done that personally. 
if you're on an if you're on an odd one, you're going north and south. It's easy to miss because they connect it. Oh, connect okay. everyone. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Wow. Well. And they go up. And you're always that's trying to connect your plane to them. Right. The the five goes from Mexico to Canada. I've never been to either of those places. You are yeah, so. But surely you must. Oh, have I've been to Canada. To north. What's the thing that they say? Oh, so and so is baby girl moded or whatever. Huh? Never. What is it? <laughs> What does that mean? What People say that? Ben and baby the are so mode? baby girl and yeah. they don't even know it. Yeah, they 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 call but there's like a word for it. You coded. are you yeah, you are west side coded. What does that mean? It means she doesn't she didn't even know oh, about the five. I don't freeway. even live on the west side. Where do you Have live? Have you ever been to San Francisco? What the no. fuck? No. You never I've never been to San Francisco. For those of you who are unfamiliar, this is uh, 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 it's like living in New York and being like, where's the World Trade Center? No. Kind of. Well, well, or where's Central well, Park? Is it even there? It, 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 not <laughs> really. W- uh, Practice. W- it's like a memorial. What? Oh. What? Well, I'm sure no, it's, there it's is harder a to well, find I've only been normal. here for two years. There's a new... T- okay, but still, the five the is five, like... The five? I mean, how did you avoid it? I wouldn't be able to find the World Trade Center. And you, that bad example. It's the biggest one they got. I wouldn't be able to get to Central, Central Park. Park. I wouldn't be able to get to Central Park. There's no way. Way. 100%. Also, you're talking to a real 9-11 head here, so... I'm assuming that everyone else is on right. the You're same You're 9-11 head coded. I'm a big 9 Yeah, I'm 9-11 head coded. You're so baby coded. girl. I'm baby girl. We're so baby girl, we don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Emil is, is baby, I think baby I just boy have a, coded. Yeah, I don't I'm look a baby at the signs, boy. I guess, and that's why I always get off at the wrong exit. Are, oh, you. Oh, so you're heavily reliant on GPS. Could not get from point A to point B without it. And also can't even read the GPS sometimes. Interesting. Do you I wear think, glasses? Mm, that's a, she has that's them right a there. T- tough spot yeah, on this okay, podcast. Yes. I yeah, I should be wearing glasses everywhere, but I leave them in the podcast studio because I do need them to see that. And that's if I don't have them, you're walking. You're you're driving around with a loaded, mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. a loaded car. You're mm-hmm. like Wild Thing in Major League. Mm-hmm. What? I am going to make an eye doctor appointment what? soon. Soon. That's my goal for 2023. Okay, it should be your goal for this next month. For 2023, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the year. I have too many other goals as well. You you asked earlier, would you rather have a hearing or vision? You're choosing. I hearing. can see you crystal clear. Really? 100. percent I just how many fingers did you hold? Crystal. crystal. It's just a distance. All right. A little can bit of you, distance. Oh uh, man, this, I don't want to. What time it. is it on this clock? Yeah, what time is it on the clock? Ooh, she well, can't I, read Roman I, numerals. That's tough. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's not really a vision thing. But I can see if I pretend those are numbers. Well, they're saying a lot of stuff like, okay, try to find the World Trade Center. Yeah. Oof, that's not really right. Our you're thing. saying a lot of things. That try I to read can't these Roman regardless. numerals. Jeez, that's yeah. not, you're <laughs> yeah. on the wrong podcast. Yeah, yeah, Damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Daily is down the hall. Yeah. Anyways, Israel. <laughs> I just kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is something related. What? What could be? Well, you were going to ask Emil about his sister. What country? Oh. Yeah, Greece? I'm sorry that that was wrong. Okay, so there, you know what? I don't even want to do this yet. Okay, because like I don't even know anything about this thing. What's Basically, my like country? Newark, there was this, there was this, I pull a bunch of headlines every week. Where uh-huh. like if we run out of something, I pull a headline and I have not looked into it. I'm just like this is a funny headline. So Newark was tricked into. I know you're from Newark. No, he's from New Jersey. New Jersey. Newark? Sorry, that's what he meant. Newark, <laughs> New Jersey was tricked into becoming sister cities with the Hindu nation. The catch. The country never existed, and so they were tricked Ooh. into. Did you guys not see this? No, but you guys that's didn't hilarious. see my really obscure headline that I found on Newark was tricked. Oh God! Oh, we have to we have to support. Ad, they they now tricking us with the ad block. Or you got to get into Firefox. <laughs> <laughs> you use Firefox? Well, because there's a built-in ad blocker. Oh, it's or, or yeah. not ad block. Uh, what do you call it? Um, paywall thing. Oh, that's oh right. yeah. Paywall. Who tricked them? Uh, this um. I guess made up Hindu nation. I but, don't know how. Why? Like what also, they, like why is New Jersey? Why do they have time to be like, yeah, let's actually like get a sister city. Sister That's cities a, are pretty common. Yeah, but what huh? are they? Oh yeah. Yeah. What is the? What, like what's cult, one like other cult, sister? It's pair. like a cultural exchange. <clears throat> yeah, oh. I think LA's sister city is. To- I don't Tokyo. Really, I don't keep track of it, but I it's had a no weird idea thing. that was a thing. Yeah, it's stupid, but yeah. <coughs> okay, cool. the, let me just give you guys some. Like you'll uh, see some in context. cities, you'll see weird little, <clears throat> you'll see something from a foreign nation, and it'll be like, "This is a gift from our sister city." Blah blah. blah. And it's all about. Wow, that would be like a huge bummer if you were like, "We are this really cool city in Indonesia, and our sister city is like Tulsa, Scottsdale." Yeah, <laughs> what do you get from Scottsdale? 
fucking I don't know. Herpes probably. <laughs> yeah. The city of Newark, New Jersey has admitted that it was duped into signing an official partnership with a supposed Hindu nation. The country, however, does not exist. So they signed an agreement to become cities with the United States of Ka- Kailasa. Kailasa. Two women representing Kailasa garbed in what appeared to be traditional clothing and jewelry attended the ceremony. One of them gave an eight-minute speech before the city council thanking Newark for the partnership and speaking and creating an, <laughs> an enlightened Hindu civilization. So were they actresses? I don't know. I don't this, know. This next thing is great. Kailasa is the fabrication of Swami Nit- Nityananda, Yet Nityananda, a Hindu guru who fled India in 2019 when he was charged with rape. <laughs> oh okay, so God. I don't understand what what their goal was. Yeah, me neither. Is this just a prank? What the fuck? Uh, he this guy purchased an island. Like what? New yeah, York what? City Council, realizing six days after the ceremony that the city was fooled, voted on January 18th to rescind its partnership with the foundation. Mm-hmm. Okay. It w- there was no money. There involved. was no money involved. I've heard that before. Is that merch for the city? Yeah, New York puts on Newark. No, Newark puts on pretty hard. They have I fix stuff shirts. Oh. Okay, what? cool. No, I'm joking. That's what the shirts. Oh, say. Jesus Christ! So, man, who I, can who can't who can relate? Getting duped into signing a, 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 a partnership with a sister city. Who among us hasn't been duped? Entered an agreement to be a sister city. Well, I feel like a, in, in, Newark is kind of probably pretty desperate to get a sister city take on it board. Easy on Newark. Mm-hmm. No, Newark, Newark sucks. It's Newark. Go, what is in New York, Newark except the, the, the train airport. station as well? That yeah. goes to and from the airport. Yeah. There's a bustling business center in mm-hmm. New York. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, they can bustle all they want. I ain't going there. Ooh. We wouldn't have you. Yeah, right. Yeah, Take well, that, suck Newark. my dick. Emil, did you, like, grow up kind of going to the business capital of Newark? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like... I was, it was a lot of weekend trips mm-hmm, to the business to This guy used to pump porta-potties. That was a job okay, that he Okay, relax. Had. Really? That. Yeah, yeah. He loved that blue shit. What is that blue shit? Cleaning. It's, yeah, it just, it's like a... Is it, it the same stuff the with the nasty. hairdresser? Barbicide? I don't think so, but I'd have to ask. Okay. Have you ever seen the video of the guy at like a music festival a couple years ago who dropped his phone in a porta potty and fully went? Yes, fully that was me. You? It wasn't me, I but I had done that and I did pull it out. You pulled your phone out of a porta potty? I, I pulled it out because I was at the Houston Rodeo. I dropped it in. Oh Christ! It had an otter box. You guys remember otter boxes? Oh, yeah. So I reached out and the, it was the otter box that was like. I remember when I bought it, I was like, "This is so expensive." It was like the nicest one. I think it was like a hundred and thirty dollar otter box. It had hinges, you know. And I unhinged it. I had gloves on because it was the rodeo cook off, so okay. they had gloves. Were you okay. prone to breaking phones before this? Or something? Oh, I'm yeah. prone to breaking phones now. Yeah, Emil, my man. Jeez, every oh, morning shit. I break my. <laughs> you no, know, I have existed without afternoon. a case for years, and I never break. So, oh, so have I. Well, this is a carpeted rug, so. Or, that's redundant. Um, I, I case it all the time, but I. But so you reached reach in, I got it out, and then I took the otter box off and oh tossed. Oh that's it, giving me chills. Tossed the gloves <sighs> and hand sanitized the shit out of my hands, even though they, they didn't touch anything. You didn't even wash. That feels, pretty, the, that feels pretty safe. The phone didn't. The phone didn't fall in and sink and go yeah. glub glub glub. It was just sitting on some toilet paper. Mm, oh, but I that toilet totally paper reasonable. is like s- drenched. Guys, it's okay. That's totally reasonable. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm I'm with you. I I'm guess. pretty sure my phone got stolen in New Orleans the the next weekend. So <laughs> jokes on them. My glasses mm. when I used to wear glasses fell into the toilet once while I was peeing, Ooh. and Did I had get- a moment where I was like, ah, uh, mm. and then I had to I just had to do it. Yeah, and I reached in. Fortunately, it was just pee pee. Well, just pee pee. Mm. He doesn't freak me out because it's sterile. Yeah, it's pee. You know it's better to drink somebody else's pee than your own pee? No, why? I'll tell you why, Ben. Hmm. Because your own pee, you're getting rid of nutrients that you don't need. Uh, somebody else's pee, you could use some of those nutrients. Uh, Bear grills or Bear Bear grills. vitamin K. I saw it on TikTok, okay. so it's probably very real, yes. Okay. I believe everything I see on TikTok. Everything. You got a glass of piss I could drink? I got one for you. I'm building. I'm, I'm brewing one right now for you. <laughs> okay, let's um, drink each other's ass. Okay. Hey, guys. We want to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, TMG Studios. On top of ad-free episodes, we also have a bonus episode every week where we play games. I love games. You'd be shocked what kind of games we play in the bonus. We watch videos and we remove the filter to hang out with you guys. We also remove our shoes. Yes. 
but not socks. When you sign up for Team G Studios, I my socks. you also get added to our Instagram close friends list. Yeah. And so if you want to have more time with us, you can go to tmgstudios.tv and sign up for either the Brooke and Connor tier or the studios tier to get access to ad-free and bonus episodes. Bear Grylls <laughs> would love this conversation. Who's that? He was man versus wild. I looked up to him for us for one minute in time. He's cool. Good person to look up to. Great person to have on TV. What does he do now? It doesn't. I think, I he, think he could he probably retire with royalties from Man <laughs> vs. Wild because I think That's it had true. a really serious cult following. I know he had some other shows. He would he would then take celebrities. Remember Channing Tatum, uh, Will Rob into Riggle. It. Yeah, they, they he took celebrities out into survival. You know what's funny is I always talk about like Bear, Bear Girls and stuff, and Brooks like who's that? And like this guy took up like a decent amount of reality in my head as like oh, yeah. someone that I like. He was a famous person. He that's guy that was on TV. I oh, love yeah. Discovery Channel. He's all over the place. I was she, on Tumblr. She never knew about... He, this, he gave himself a weird enema on a raft he made. And the TV crew is like, don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, it was Why sick. did he give himself an enema I think on it was a raft? To get, I think it was the best way for him to hydrate or something. So he, I've got to stick this thing <laughs> yeah. up my ass. So he's like on a raft, and then he said the best thing to do is to just sit back and think of England. I can't remember who, who <laughs> talked about this, but someone was like... He was teaching people how to survive if you were dropped in certain parts of the world. Oh, he would, I know. He would who go he is. to an island. He'd be like, "Okay, what you gonna do? First thing you're gonna do if you get if you're stuck in off the coast of Madagascar is you're gonna climb the waterfall and you're gonna catch a bat and you're gonna bite the head off the bat and then you're gonna drink its blood. And it's like first thing you have to do is catch the fucking bat, right. which is like everybody's already out. Well, actually, first thing you have to do is scale a waterfall. Sure. So I'm I'd be out. dead in one. I'd be dead in one. I'm second. out. It's so slippery. But some useful things about like falling into freezing water, you got to take your clothes off. Why? Well, yeah. Because otherwise, Seems counterintuitive. Just, the clothes will just freeze Insulin. on you, uh, yeah. and you just you're never gonna warm I up. I feel like all three but of also, you. But also, if I'm in freeze, I'm dead yeah, anyway. Yeah. I'm just gonna try to stay I as would warm weirdly as possible and die. Think I would live on. Me I too. weirdly feel like I would be fine because I wouldn't know too much, and I feel like ignorance is bliss in the situation. <laughs> like the less you know, I'm with you, buddy. The more you know, where it's like. Oh shit! Should I have done this before this so that I could? If I didn't know, like I feel like the more you think about it, the no, more you sick you get about eat stuff. Something you weren't supposed to and die. Speaking of getting hungry, I saw a homeless guy smoking a joint the other day, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking, mm-hmm. how is that enjoyable for you? Right. What happens when you get high? You trip out and you're fucking hungry. So if I were that guy, I'd be going like, man, I could, I would love a cream soda and some fucking Doritos, and then I go, oh. Fuck. Fuck. Well, you could cancel it out with some crack, I can't. and that makes you not hungry afterwards. That's true. Yeah, but crack, oh man. And a cigarette. You know, when I turn like what 80. What is crack? Crack it's cocaine. is. cocaine. It's like mixed with baking powder and stuff. <laughs> it, makes it, it makes it more cocaine. Like, okay. It's like extra cocaine. And, then it's and do you rock. smoke cocaine it? Cocaine plus. Yeah, you smoke it. You smoke it. Yeah, you smoke it. You can also freebase cocaine. That's cool, dude. What's that? <laughs> Yeah, what is rebasing cocaine? That's what, that's what Richard Pryor was doing. That's how he set himself on fire. They know so many names and, and things. All about freebasing cocaine and Richard Pryor. I don't know. I you know, you Richard, know Pryor. Richard Pryor. No, yeah. I don't no, even heard that name. Way. There's no. He's of course a, we He's don't. a famous comedian oh. who died. Uh, I don't know him. Oh man. <laughs> uh, so he was in this. He's m- like regarded as probably one of the funniest living people ever. Like well, not one living. Of the fu- he's one dead. of the funniest people who ever lived. Mm. Can he, you? Can we get an image? Yeah. He did a bunch of movies. Uh, the, my favorite Never was... Uh, Brewster's a, Millions. There was a movie he did called Brewster's Millions, which is so fucking good. Here's the premise of the movie. Okay. He finds out... He's like some broke guy on an on a, uh, like amateur baseball team. He finds out that he's got a long-lost uncle, a white guy who's filthy rich, and gives him an, a choice. He's like... Uh, in his like video will, he says, Well, you're my only living relative, and I'm going to give you a choice. You can either have uh, 30 million... Or it's like $5 million without question Mm -hmm. or you can have 300 million dollars right if you can spend 30 million dollars in 30 days without any without telling anyone and this is back in the 80s so that was a lot of money oh yeah so the movie is all about him having to spend 30 million dollars in 30 days and all his friends and stuff are like what are you doing you're gonna waste all your money and he's like i love it wait so seeing that picture does nothing for you that doesn't Uh -uh. you're not clocking anything (gasps) but i feel like you could spend 30 million in one day on a house there no, was, there's there all were these rules. rules. There's oh, all these rules. Because if you bought a house, it's like it's still an asset. 
you've got to have nothing. You mean just like spending it on food and it, it just yeah, whatever you whatever. I you think can I do could to make it happen. It. It's a great plane movie. tickets. Plane tickets. Not an asset. True. If I'm going first class around yeah, the world. Yeah, buy like a hundred people a first class ticket somewhere, or like buy an airplane and then Charter just like it. crash it. Yeah. Oh, because then it wouldn't be an asset. Yeah, it'd be just it'd be a crashed airplane. Oops, I didn't buy insurance on it. What are you gonna do? I don't remember oh, the rules. I would. Yeah, there are. I would rules. do. There, there were rules. There are rules that it's hard to get around. They should remake that movie. That's such a good one. No, they leave fucking, it as is. It's no, don't dude. touch it. And then there was one you guys. And Gene Wilder's in it. You know who Gene Wilder is. Of course, is. Of course we know. Okay, who come on. Gene How do you know? Is. Yeah, man, that I, I gotta say, I've seen together. Willy Wonka. That's pretty racist. That is actually Willy really Wonka's racist. Up. No. Well, that actually was too. The I Uber. hate finding out things are racist. <laughs> well, a lot of things are still. But they racist. were actually in movies. They were in movies together. <laughs> That's cr- they, yeah, they were in a few movies together. One was called <laughs> See No Ear, Evil, Hear No Evil, where one of them is blind and one of them is deaf. I think, oh, I think. Oh Richard, my God, we that's. That's what relevant. our podcast is That's about. Relevant. Well, so yeah, my I think uh, Richard Pryor was blind and um, no. Gene Wilder was deaf. No. And that was the premise. Okay, if you guys had to be in that movie, which one of you would be blind and which one of you would be deaf? Well, I'd probably be just the white guy. The white Jewish guy? Yeah. I'd be the... I'd be the Wait, uh, was Gene Wilder Jewish? I'd be... Is Gene Wilder Jewish? That's a great question. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure. Can we see? <laughs> Can you Google Gene Wilder Jew? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was. I'm gonna go no. With that hair, was, yeah, raised, he was raised Jewish. Oh, huh. but, but, but wait, but, but wait. The next sentence. But he held only the golden rule as his philosophy. <laughs> What's the golden rule of Judaism? Uh, no, I think he just meant be treat others as you wish to just, be treated. Yeah. Complain. Yeah. That's, the, that's golden the golden rule. rule. Complain, Complain and, and stomach aches. <laughs> Complain. <laughs> Complain. Complain. Complain about stomach aches, aches and eggs. Isn't salad. it really? It is so powerful to me how that like truly like. Is a Jewish thing. You know yeah. what it is. Like you just can tell. It's also generational it. trauma. It is. So I was like, "You have stomach aches because the Jew thing," and you were like, "You're anti-Semitic and fucked up." And I was like, "Dude, that's like a thing." Yeah, it is. But I mean, give me a break. Yeah, seriously, mm-hmm. give him a break. Okay, <laughs> I have I have a couple things that like uh, we have to do because right. I will forget, and it just sucks as we always forget. What? Okay. So we're gonna ask you a couple things that are like top of mind. I w- I really want to talk, and then you guys kind of give. Your two cents or three cents or whatever right. you feel like I'll giving. Ten cents, maybe. This is the kind of stuff that we know. Yeah, give it yeah, to sorry. me. This is Can our... we cut that part about Richard Pryor just fully a grandpa? He was in these movies. No, shut see? up. We're leaving it. <laughs> I think someone will like it. Maybe the one per, maybe one or two. Emil, did you get your nose pierced? Yeah. When did you do that? A few months ago. Whoa, cool. Oh man, the bisexual people, the our bisexual contingent went bananas. What'd they for say? It. They were just like, they were just like oh, it's bi king. Fucking Creaming like every just, oh you know, cool yeah they love to sexualize him although yeah. it, it seems like anything we do every week they're like we want them to rearrange our guts do you guys like it's that you guys should in, in the bonus know. let's go on to LPSG and figure out if they have a, a landing page oh I bet they do okay well, okay, we'll wait, look into so that. What, what does that mean do, I don't know we'll get okay, to yeah, it yeah sorry yeah. Wait. <clears throat> okay okay have you guys seen the Gwyneth Paltrow skiing yes thing okay have so you guys great. talked about it no okay cool well let's dive in. There's really not much to say. Basically, like I'm, I'm full Gwyneth team, Gwyneth because in my opinion, and I think a lot what? of people agree. Gwen, what? Gwyneth, 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 it's like a. She's innocent. What are you? Oh my God! Cool. It's Good a combina- It's a play on her name. Okay, sorry, didn't I didn't hear it. Gwyneth, I think she's Gwyneth Paltrow. How would you pronounce innocent in, without any Gwyneth? Involved? Innocent. So why wouldn't it be Gwynnison? He did. That's what he said. He said Gwen. Whatever. Gwinnison. Keep going. Keep going. It's hard to get back on track <laughs> now. <laughs> Your team Gwynnison. Yeah. I, I mean, but in but in my opinion as well, I'm a big Gwyneth Paltrow fan. She could have taken her skis off and and hit this man across his skull, and, and I would supporting. have still been like he probably. I can can you explain to me what she skied into someone? Basically, he's saying this was in 2016. Also, this is when this happened, Jesus. and it's just now hitting court. Damn, good. we were living high then, huh? Trump had just won. Oh, it was a great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, let, let, let's shut up. Go um, ahead. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow was skiing. Trump had just won. Everything was right. Um, <laughs> so she's saying that she was skiing down, and he came in between her legs. <laughs> he what? Yeah. And she, I could see you doing that. She Gwyneth. she basically was like in her head. She was like, "Oh, this is a sexual thing, and someone is like a- attacking me." 
sexual. That's that's what. And she said that she's skiing down. Her ski, his skis went in between her. She fell over, and for a moment in time, they were almost like spooning on the ground. They had fallen to the right, both of them. And you're attached to all your stuff, and you're in ski gear. So it took them a second, but for a moment, they were. And he's saying that she hit him. Well, if she's down slope. Are they pretty sure that was that was it, are... and 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 she was with a ski instructor. The ski thing happened. He's saying it was a hit and run to go full circle mm-hmm. on today's. The episode. ski instructor saying that? No, the guy who she allegedly hit, oh. according to him, saying that um, it, she got up and left. She was with a ski instructor whose job it is to report these kind of things. Like that's his, that's like the, the blood would be on his hands as well. Sure. He reported it mm-hmm. and said that it was like a good it, scenario. It, this happened. Whatever, here's how it went. Like, they felt they both got up and left. He's saying he has irreversible, like, brain injury and that it's getting a lot worse. Well, he's seeing dollar signs. Yeah, and and he has apparently, and I haven't seen these, but apparently somewhere online there's Facebook statuses of him saying he's going to be famous soon. And and he has texts to his daughter, I guess, that saying the same sort of thing. Like, I'm going to team him. Let him get paid. Uh, no. Also, well, he sued her for three million dollars. Jeez. Well, the court Just came out and him. said has it. The, the judge capped it at three hundred grand. Fuck. She countered sued for a dollar, which I guess Taylor Swift had done it at some point. Mm-hmm. That's classy. And now there's 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 clips going viral of the the <clears throat> the counter lawyer coming in and, and being like, "How close are you with Taylor Swift?" And there's like full bits of her being. Gwyneth is smiling in court like this is such a waste mm-hmm. of my time, but she just needs to like clear her name now at this point, so she countersued for a dollar. That's classy. Which is yeah, I think so too. How does the guy not just drop the suit right. at this point? How is it still going? I yeah. think there's a bunch of pride involved because I think he has a bunch of money as well. They were skiing uh, in. Oh, uh, probably yeah. They're at okay. Now they I'm were skiing He's in probably rich. Park City or Park something. City, yeah. Thing mm-hmm. I think. What what was it? Oh, I no, it wasn't Aspen. It wasn't Aspen because we talked about this. I think it was Park City. I think it was Park City. Oh, because someone corrected me on that the other day. Did we already? Did we talk about this I on think, our podcast? I don't know. I think we just talked about it privately. Oh yeah. Okay. So it was not Aspen. It was somewhere else. I think it was Park City. Anyways, yeah, they have a lot of lot of money there, and so I think that it's just like a pride thing. But the, all of the things online right now, like no one even cares about the suit. They're all talking about. There's a breakdown threads on like doing um outfits of the day ootd where gwyneth got right. her sweaters gwyneth. and such a lot of prada a lot of Celine. a lot of products placement for goop as well because a lot of them are goop sweaters oh goop makes sweaters apparently oh, goop makes everything what does oh. goop stand for gwyneth it's just gp gwyneth paltrow goop there's it's two, no, there's two o's. O's. yeah i know but the it's from her initials like if you said her initials goop oh goop goop, goop. Uh, oh uh, okay hmm that can't be it. I would do a U with umlauts. Goop. 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 Can we look up yeah. what goop stands for? Speaking. Oh, goop, goop. was in. Hmm. The oh, it came from Peter Arnell. Double O's came from their name. Wanted it to be a word that means nothing and could mean anything. Awesome. Oh, okay. Very cool. I th- I thought it was for her. It initial. doesn't stand for anything in particular. Oh, <laughs> That's it has awesome. nothing to do with GP. Speaking of USA Today, Paltrow explained the meaning behind Goop and revealed that it does not stand for anything in particular. The first and last initials come from her own name, and she told the New York Times that someone told her successful internet companies have to have double O's in their names. Okay, seems like a perfect solution. Great. Yeah, it's her her initials. Cool, so that's all I have to say. That was my daily recap. I did it in two minutes. That was really good. Um, They're reenacting it and stuff like on the slopes based on her account and his account, and Basically, it's just like not an issue because when you get on a slope, you assume whatever risk by getting on the slope. Like when you buy your ski ticket, there are things that happen on the slope that like, unless you're being malicious and like flying down at 100 miles an hour. Like, yeah, maybe this guy was. Shit he happens. Crazy. Shit happens. Yeah. I think they should take money from them and, and give it to me. No. People who need it. That's a both, good idea. They Neil. should be like, you guys both have to give $3 million. Man, uh, what are wh- people saying? What are all these tweets? I'm not. People are just commenting on the reenactments. Wow. Okay. Well. So this looks like. Is this the guy? That's the guy, or is that the instructor? That is. Who is this? Oh, this is the expert, expert. on biomechanics. 
Okay. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, wow. whatever. Christ, man. What, it's fine. what is what is what is this uh what what is this covering up for? What's go, what else is what's the real thing going on in the world that they're uh, trying to distract? Oh, Probably everything else. Wars? You were going to ask about a recession. <laughs> oh yeah. That's Are a, we in a recession? No. No. Not currently. We probably will be. We'll How do you? When was the one. last one? Uh, two thousand nine. Uh, uh, I, remember real that. I remember that. A real recession, but when we went into COVID, that that didn't count as a recession. Uh, I believe it was temporary. Yeah, because unemployment shot up to like eight percent or whatever, mm. and yeah. What's a good telltale sign of a recession? When people mm, uh, for pe- dummies, people do be unemployed. Okay, and I for dummies, say, like, what do you do with your money when you feel a recession coming along? Save it. Sa- Okay, personally cool. and cool. get ready to buy the big dip in the stock market if it happens you don't take your money out well i, I if i have cash there no because then where else am i going to put it i don't know into a silicon valley bank in the, <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> also if you don't need it you you would be taking it out at a low yeah. exactly yeah so you don't want to do that the prevailing wisdom is it's never hodl, mm-hmm. never try to time the market just always be putting always be buying abb yeah, you got That's the that? prevailing wisdom. I'm always be buying I know. over yeah. here. I know. I'd be, I'd be buying all kinds of stuff. Um, Let's okay. talk about Harry Styles. Yeah. I, I like to talk about this stuff with you guys because when we talk about Imrata and Harry Styles who were spotted making out in Tokyo because Harry has a show in Tokyo and Imrata is just a jet setter. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, this is very hot. I have... <laughs> This is insane. It's it's insane because they're not hiding. They're not in the bathroom. No. You know, they're out on the and streets. And he does not do stuff like this. I'll tell you what, so though. They drunk. are in Tokyo. When we were in Tokyo, it well. did feel like you could kind of make out anywhere. and um, You just get the vibe. You just get got. But this isn't like this isn't like at a private no, event. No, play it this again. Don't, the there's, no re- right. there's no need to stop it. Here's he, Well, everyone's saying he looks like an awful kisser. Just due to like the, him not even closing his mouth. Yeah, like turn mouth. your body, dude. Face her. Well, Put her up against the van. What are you it, doing? To me, it feels like he's like, oh, we need to stop. We need to stop. We need to stop. Like, right. I, can't be I doing feel this like in she the street. is. Yeah. I mean, mom yeah, is watching. His body language is like, okay, right. enough. Right. My and fans she's are going to get mad the and they're going to tear you down. Like, well, also, look, she's best friends with Olivia, who Harry just. Who's Olivia? Oh, Olivia oh, Wilde, who wild. Harry just broke up with. Oh. And now she's publicly. She's best friends begging. Yes, and now she's begging for forgiveness. Oh, well, there's also a rumor that they now had a begging they had a threesome. Olivia, mm-hmm. Emrata, and Harry had a threesome. Dumois Jeez. disproved That's that right. cool. somehow. How? I don't know. They just said it was like a game of telephone. Mm. Man, I don't think it's that hard to believe. No, like, it's not. Because would, because for him to go like out of a, a an Olivia Wilde relationship that lasted so long and then be making out this passionate, I mean. It's hard to say passionately because it does seem like a one-sided thing. Yeah. But Imrata yeah. has also been married for so long that she hasn't... Now she's dated Pete Davidson, Eric, Eric Andre. Andre, Harry Styles, and... There's another one. There is another one. Don't tell me. She didn't answer my DM, so... Eric Andre, I don't Pete, think she's that great. Harry, really? Yeah. I do think she's like the most beautiful She's like, I don't know, she's just one of those... You, you Google hot chick, and that's what comes up. And it's like, I mean, all right, she's unbelievably beautiful. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure, I guess. But does she? You does need she, a little bit more character. I I don't know. I just imagine that she'd be vapid. Oh, I guess once you hit thirty five, you start looking at things a little differently. Yeah, you do. I guess you do. I want substance. I'll see, because I'm looking for future wife. Right. I don't know where she is, but she's You're out there somewhere. Mode? Yeah, and I don't think that Emrod is my future wife. Sorry to her, but uh, oh my god, it seems yeah. like she's just looking for fun anyway. Right. Yeah, well, you know, you've you been married you forever. Don't, you don't want to have, have fun. fun. Wait, no, we need to figure wanna, out who no. the other. You person wouldn't is. have a little fun. Okay, who was it? That's insane. Who? Gibby. Oh, Gibby. <laughs> it well, Pete, Harry, Eric. Mix their cum. Ben. What? What? <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs> what were you gonna say? There's a fourth one. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, if only someone could Google it. Right. There's like that. I know. I saw it on Twitter. There's like the four. The four. The, yeah. Yeah. It's there's a some four. guy. Damn, it's gonna. I feel like he's a hottie. He's they, like a mega hottie, right? They or were like, she's show? she's checking all her boxes. Tall, right. funny, gay. <laughs> talking about Harry and uh, something else. And handsome. 
No, I mean they're all good looking. Who's the tall one? Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm done with the Pete Davidson thing. I want. Every... I think everybody. I think he's done with the Pete Davidson. I think Pete yeah. Davidson is done with he's the Pete Davidson. Them, I want them to admit it was a bit. I want all the women to say it was a bit. We were joking. It wasn't a bit. We don't find him hot. Mm-hmm. You know what? <laughs> you know what's really interesting is um, Eric Andre had to come out and be like. Or no, I think Imrata came out on her podcast and said something like, uh, we were not from, together yeah. when he posted that photo of her naked and him naked on Valentine's Day. And it was not consensual, And he post. He posted, well, she, it wasn't like, why the, f- it was just like, I thought that was like weird, but like, they're friends, you know, like. At yeah, that, that's what they, I'm saying. They didn't have a falling out oh, or I would think that do. was weird if someone posted like a half naked picture yeah, of me without he, asking. he came out, no, I know, but. I, I said it was weird, but she wasn't like, ew, that was disgusting. Oh, and freaky. I would be mad. Well, uh, they're obviously on better terms than, and they're like, I don't know, they're they're mature about whatever they got out of. Isn't she a mother? What's she doing in Tokyo <laughs> making out with young Harry Styles? Maybe the kids. With Maybe the he's dad. with the dad. Why a dad's you, not a babysitter. It's a father. Woman. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just. I'm. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. I'm pretty sure the husband cheated on her too. She really? Can't, she can't go to yeah. Tokyo Ooh, for a oh, weekend. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. I Brad Pitt. That. I don't That's that. why, because we didn't connect that. Mm-hmm. But basically, Eric Andre was like, "Oh, we're just friends." I was just posting it because I thought it was a funny post. I'm like, "That is how you fail at ethically clout chasing someone, Eric." He failed the ethical clout chasing. Because the statute of limitations, he he he, they had obviously had a falling out, and he posted it after. Bad luck. Wait, wh- what did mm. he do? He was in. They were just friends, but they were hanging out naked together. They were hooking they were, up. It was a hookup oh, type situation, okay, and then okay. after they had, she had moved on. <laughs> mm-hmm. He was like, "Oh crap, I didn't like get my I didn't viral on post." This. Up, oh. You know, and he Eric. posted it after, and was like, "We were friends still." Yeah, it's like you don't, you know, bad luck. Okay. I can't imagine fucking that guy. I <coughs> oh bet it'd be God. wild but weird. I saw him on a date at. Uh, oh yeah. Christ, where was I? I was on a date and he was on a date. Eric, That's cool so man. Up, King. Eric? Oh, interesting. Who was it with? Who was he on the date yeah. with? No one. Uh, like no <laughs> Just one. Just a nobody. No one it was probably like Amrata and. We had no idea. I imagine that somehow the tip of his penis looks is just a miniature version of his head. And it just I, goes, could, I, I think the same could be said for every man in this picture. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, especially Pete. No, Davidson. not Harry. Pete Davidson's. Pete Davidson kind of looks like hair a dry like penis, a penis if you yeah. if you squint your eyes. Even if you don't squint your eyes, he looks like his name could be Cock. 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 <laughs> Cock. Cock Davidson. Hey, what's up? My name's Cock. I don't know. Yeah. what they name me. Cock Davidson. I don't know. That is king, a, they call uh, me king of Staten Island. A spectrum mm-hmm. of men she's attracted to. She is does. she or is she just sampling the wares and making her husband jealous? She's having like, fun. Honestly, she's learning. She's gathering I'm information. I'm telling you, she's been married she's for learning. so long. She's probably like, oh, I... She's learning about herself. Yeah. How? Wait, well, who the fuck did her husband cheat on her with? Harry Styles. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I don't know. I don't know. Fumbled the bag. Ooh, why is Epstein trending in the United oh, States? Man. Who, who knows anymore? Right also, under. Also, who died? Right under Col- R.I.P. Marty. Not Scorsese, right? No. Okay. Well, I wanted to ask Wait. you guys with all of these relationship things and stuff. When you start looking at someone like a Harry Styles and an Olivia Wilde, and now you've got Imrata that has a podcast, they all have all these things that like are actual businesses. Mm-hmm. It affects markets. Like, and then you get to like a Kim Kardashian thing with stuff like that. Th- these people that are just like fucking around, like Imrata, just like I'm gonna go to Paris and make out with Harry Styles. That affects the market? Yeah, it could because Harry Styles, like, right? The market like of in what? Some the way, market? The dating market? Money. Actual money Who? is involved with these people. You're saying Wait, yes. what? Harry and Emrata <laughs> making out is it going could. to cause a crash in the stock oh, market? No, not, I don't think it could. Have, it's not going to cause a crash in the stock market. I'm saying, like, when you, okay, here's this. Like okay. a Haley Bieber, Selena Gomez thing. Okay. There's enough money involved that like if if people stopped buying Haley Bieber stuff oh that right. could cause her company to actually go under and like can't say with like Kylie Cosmetics if she got fully canceled by like a monstrous Selena Gomez fan base which is 375 people on Instagram alone that could cause some turmoil some the, ripples sure yeah. sure yeah no I, I hear you would it, I it guess would that's ripple company beyond when, you know yeah. when, the company? beyond yeah beyond meat what about how would it ripple beyond just like oh, oh. Kylie no, Cosmetics closing down that guy literally bit some guy's nose off you know. well no that was like the, uh, it was just some executive it wasn't like the CEO or founder or anything it's still I don't that's care I'll eat, I'll eat a beyond burger even if the guy you want to bite someone's nose go for it Babu okay Jesus careful there 
dropping shit. Okay, well, obviously, like my whole smart take didn't work. So no, that's I, fine. I, I, I hear you. No, I think, could, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it could, it could, it could. If uh, you know, if one of them accidentally tweeted something horrifically racist, yeah. it would definitely affect their empires. Right, but and it, their fan bases would then have to scramble to justify it for some reason. How would it ripple beyond and their empires? Would. We do have to thank Jonah Hill for it. Just it's like a domino effect. Like if if something were to happen with Haley Bieber, and then they go dig up a bunch of stuff, and then they find stuff from 2016 to cancel her on, that could tank her company, which could result in some C level executive that like is doing all business with their company, like yeah, getting involved not? somewhere else. I'm just saying, like it's all hypothetical, but like them making out could cause a butterfly effect that could not topple a market, but like. Skincare and skincare, it could. You never know. You're saying that could affect pleasing. Affect Carrie's what? company, pleasing. That's oh, he's got sure. a company. Yeah. yeah, his like skincare, nail polish, etc. I don't know he had skincare. Oh yeah, well lotion, serum, nail I polish. Think, yeah, I have it all. Why? I think I think famous people are not allowed to start skincare companies. Why? We have enough. We have because enough. because when you have a lot of money. If like good branding, if you have a ton of money, your skin just starts to look better. Well, maybe because by proxy. Also, just it's great packaging, guys. You already, you already, you already got it. Like like Ryan Reynolds, you got it, dude. You got Mint Mobile. You Mm -hmm. got the the, we talked about that on here last week. You got it. You won. Stop. He's not starting a fucking skincare brand. He's gonna start something else, and he's gonna make a commercial where he goes, "Hey, what guys? I know that I've uh, had a successful." alcohol business and then a phone business but now i'm getting into why are you giving him you know, a list because that's how he talks he doesn't have a list yeah, he's, he does. yeah he's no that, that was silly, that was really good he's got that silly little like hey guys i may be hot that but i it. talk like this he like, doesn't have a list no, he he's d- got he he's got like a little something. thing he's got a little affectation you're onto it he's got an affectation did he Brian Reynolds does not have a got list. an affectation and christian guys go wild for it <laughs> they love it they love for lisps no for ryan reynolds specifically all Christian guys are like, it says don't in the Bible, but I would let Ryan Reynolds fuck me. I didn't know that they said that. They, what, the Bible or those guys? The Christian gentlemen. Oh, yeah. They would let Ryan Reynolds and the other guy. The um, They should do a new New Testament. They should. With some exceptions. They should. Yeah, it's overdue. The Pope is doing some like live internet show where he talks to young people. You should apply to be on and be like, yo, Pope, just get, create a new I'm Bible. I'm trying to maybe get involved with Ryan Reynolds. Consensually. You know what? Why not? Ryan Reynolds' new venture, new Bible. Hey guys, I just wanted to say that is Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Stop Reynolds giving him. Oh, no, that, that was it. That, that was better because it was less list. The list, but yeah. Okay. The list was. Yeah, the, it's, hey guys. Like, there's, there's like a, a soft spoken, for sure, but, but it's, he doesn't. It's, it's more theater. Yeah. It's more theater kid. Yeah. Hey guys, today he's just he's too today, self too I, self-aware. I'm saving some money on. I'm saving some like if close your eyes. Hey guys. No, you can't. Today, today I brought my mom on on set because. She's going to pick her favorite. She's going to read this off the script. Mom, go ahead and read that. Um, Ryan is my favorite son. Thanks, Mom. See ya. Commercial ends. That's what it is. Mm-mm. That's the Mint Mobile commercial. Tell me when we can open our eyes again. You can, op- you can open your oh. eyes, and I think we just have to wrap and go to bonus because we're, we're going over, but I just want to say... I'd like to ask one final question oh, okay. to Ben and Emil. Do it be, hang- do, do it, do it be farting? Okay. <laughs> do it be farting. Would you rather... Uh-huh. Bang. Yes. <laughs> your, okay, your mom's consciousness inside of your girlfriend's body. Yes. Or your girlfriend's consciousness yes, inside of your too. mom's body. Do I have to choose? You have to. Oh, they both are. Well, okay, first of all, I'm single, so thank you. Well, POV, you have a girlfriend. Okay, cool. Awesome. Future wife. But future <laughs> wife, because you're dating to marry. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would have to go with. Future wife's body. I feel like usually would you with your mom your... inside? Yeah, I feel like with... <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Otherwise, like... I'm fucking my mom's body. Oh wait, she lives on yeah, with no, the consciousness of knowing the ins and outs of you sexually. It's either you're saving well, yourself would, or saving your parents. I wouldn't give my best performance. Your mom's so. consciousness is is gonna know that you asked oh, for a finger fuck. in your butt. You know what? <laughs> He's not gonna ask for that when it's mom inside. Either way, you get to fuck. Unless he does, he I don't know. <laughs> with his lesbian haircut. <laughs> Emil's right. Either way, you get to fuck. Come on. Oh. So, oh. You know what? At that point, I'm flipping a coin. Yeah. Guys, we'll end with Wait, this. Wait, what is Emil doing? Oh. I can't choose. You have to. so good. <laughs> Wait, we got to plug ourselves before we end. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Trillionaire mindset. Oh, we also didn't talk about how, like, the whole guest thing. 
do we have, should we do we need to talk about that? I think so because we were teasing. Okay, so I think we need to put this at the beginning. It's though. been a wild week in the studio. A lot of moving parts. Our guests, while we're so lucky to have them, yes, we're swapped episode release wise. So we got to have our boys on our sister city mm-hmm. podcast mm. on this week mm-hmm. um, in real time, and then the guests we had on. That died. we were kind of that we <laughs> that we talked about talking about nonstop. Just so you know, it was it's not we weren't we're not framing up because we said some very different things about our guests that we had on yesterday. That episode has been recorded with that guest and will come out at a later date. Yes, and it was not. That's and it was not these two, but we are so thankful. To so them. if you're what confused, did you say about that guest? I can't remember, but it was like very specifically like it would be weird, really weird not to acknowledge. It, it was like it's the most insane thing in the world, which this is, but yeah. it, like, it like in a different like way. These two would have a hard time picking between their mom. Come here, come here. If you guys want to watch our show, it's called Trillionaire Mindset, mm-hmm. and it's on YouTube. You know how to search it. You mm-hmm. know how to find it. Um, we are a gay-friendly um, Christian finance Christian podcast. finance podcast. They're a new New Testament podcast. Yeah, yeah. We we're talk about all kinds of shit. Mm-hmm. It's so fun. We're talking. New. No, no, they gotta, they gotta just check it out. Oh, just check yeah, it out. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. You actually really never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes That's you true. kiss, Not right? Not to be all yeah, we've Forrest kissed. Gump about mm-hmm. it, but you really never know what you're gonna get. Forrest Gump was a movie that came out in the '90s. Yeah, for those of you <laughs> That's who helpful. don't know who Richard Pryor is, yeah, Tom yeah. Hanks wasn't always. He went full on. No, he. Yeah, no, he halfway. went full on. No, he full on. Anyway. Thanks for letting Thank us Thank you plug. so much for coming. Thanks for coming Thanks on. For having Go us. ahead and watch Trillionaire Mindset. You really won't regret it. And if you want to just sign up for the studios tier at tmgstudios.tv, you can get both of us yeah. ad free yeah. and bonus. Yeah. 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 Okay, bye right. guys. We'll see you in the bonus if you're coming. If not, oh, we're going to we're going to tell list. Brooke what we really think about Maddie Healy. So you're going to Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I I really cool. am. I really <laughs> am. Oh. Bye. This week on Close Friends, I would do a deep dive on my social media. And what's that going to do? What a waste. Yeah, what, what a waste. waste. Yeah, I TR. TR. Wow. A lot of fluctuation in the Tootsie Market. I would want some giant things. I would want a giant frog, a giant guinea I pig. I feel like a giant frog would eat you. No, it wouldn't. I'd want a giant It doesn't dog. have teeth. Brooke. Can wow. we pull up that gentleman being Yeah, can you Google Japanese guy <laughs> getting sucked off? Sign up on tmgstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.